Hey guys, so I think uh, either there's a little bit of mistranslation or misconception um, in Armin's uh, whatever Minute Friday this week. Um, Gao Ying's in, uh, inchworm draw does not necessarily describe the movement of the release. It describes more of a movement of the body itself sloping upwards, as I will show later in this video. An arrow that is, uh, let's see, 30, it's about 33.75 inches. I have marked 18 inches where I can feel, and then that's when I'm gonna start the up portion for testing, and then 32 inches, cause again, I'm not sure if it's 18 or 32 based on Gao Ying's uh, description right here. So, we'll see. With two different draw lengths as described in Gao Ying's text that I think. So, first one, first length, in my opinion, is what it would look like. That's when you raise for him. Okay, that's the first length. I don't like that, so I think he meant the second length. For me, which would be 32. I feel like it should be proportional somehow. So let's try to make the draw proportional to the... I think my form suffered there. She must determine this himself. I get down for the slopage of the angle. Okay, remembering Eliza's video compared to mine, let's find a happy middle. Oh, bad release, but you get the idea. The equivalent raise to draw ratio. There we go. Equivalent raise to draw ratio. I think that's what I'm getting at here. Equivalent raise to draw ratio in mind. So we divide the time it took to get there and have cut segments into it it should be equal there shouldn't be any point where it's like segment segment uh, exponential it should be linear however I, the, the the raise the inchworm it's it's trying to get you to linearly raise your bow in harmony such that you use all your muscles which is good for drawing war weights this isn't a war weight but that you, you have to use your whole body in order to draw weight that is more than you weigh just Ma as an example of that he's drawing 98 percent of his body weight 155 pounds how can you do this technique, knowing how to uh, manipulate his mass, uh, produce energy in order to open and shoot an object. Open, I guess, close to, uh, the forces to be able to open the body, open the bow, and then the forces that can withstand the closing forces of whatever is left over from the arrow to the bow to the, it, the user. So I guess that's the point of the inchworm draw, is not the release, however, the overall, or degree, I suppose. Thank you. I really respect you, Mr. Ehrman. I just, uh, I don't know if this is a mistranslation or anything, so I just wanted to uh, clarify uh, for the good of the collective, I suppose. We divide the time it took to get there and have cut segments into it. It should be equal. There shouldn't be any point where it's like segment, segment, uh, exponential. It should be linear, however. I, the, the, the raise, the inchworm, it's, it's trying to get you to linearly raise your bow in harmony such that you use all your muscles, which is good for drawing war weights. This isn't a war weight, but that you, you have to use your whole body in order to draw weight that is more than you weigh. Just Ma as an example of that. He's drawing 98% of his body weight, 155 pounds. How can you do this technique? Knowing how to uh, manipulate his mass, uh, produce energy 
in order to open and shoot an object. Open, I guess, close to the forces to be able to open the body, open the bow, and then the forces that can withstand the closing forces of whatever is left over from the arrow to the bow to the, it, the user. So I guess that's the point of the inchworm draw is not the release, however, the overall or degree, I suppose. Thank you. So with that, we have reached the conclusion of the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry, Mr. Armin, for calling you out. I think, uh, I just don't believe that the text indicates what you were describing. Uh, but I love having been a part of your Patreon program and being your student. Uh, that was a great experience. And thank you very much for viewing my videos and help, helping me shape myself as an archer, uh, Asiatic archer. Now it's uh, midnight and I'm gonna practice.